Previously on Near Automata. Fuck! Oh god! Oh my freaking demon lord! Ah! 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 Fuck me! Dead! Shit! And now back to some more soul crushing shit! Hey, Sneak up Back with some more Near Automata. We last left off, I spent fucking hours bashing my head against a brick wall. Oh, I mean, I I, I fought a I fought a really tough boss that I probably shouldn't have fought at a really low level. <laughs> uh, you know, I love when I fight a boss that I'm like over level for, people will get pissed at me because I'm like, it's like, you, you know, you'll beat it yet each time because you're over level. But then when I fight like a tough boss and beat him when I'm under level, people are like, what are you doing? You're so stupid. Why are you so, why are you fighting when you're so under level? <laughs> it's like, God damn it, I can't fucking win, can I? I just can't. Word. Well, some of you guys were impressed I managed to beat him. Hey, I, I did it, all right? I, I'm proud of myself. Managed to beat a level 99 boss. Freaking level 67. You guys said apparently most people fight him at like level 80 or something. <laughs> so, woo! Yeah, all right. Hooray for persistence. Apparently there's actually another, another secret boss, but this one is unlocked after you, you have to get all the weapons and you have to max them all out apparently to unlock it and then you gotta go someplace i think you said like the mall area god damn seriously also why why do i have to get every weapon in the game and max them all out that seems that's a rather bizarre uh prerequisite for it i think that last one though used up the last bit of my patience so i think i'm gonna wait before i uh before i attempt the next one but anyway yes now to get on with the actual story of this game Back to what we were really doing before I got like totally sidetracked last episode. So, uh, one thing, uh, back at the other house that isn't Emil's house, uh, is apparently a chest that I, I missed, a locked chest. So let me go grab that real quick. Should I think about it? I wonder if Emil's gonna sell me stuff anymore. Will he be pissed at me like all, <laughs> all the time now? He's like, hey, what's going on, fuckface? Come steal more of my shit again? He just runs me over. Fortunately, I do seem to have most of the weapons, I think, by this point. I have like 80% of them or something. Yeah, I've got 89% of the weapons so far, so at least I'm pretty close. Imagine I have like two or three left. Okay, there's supposed to be a chest or something in here that I missed. Oh, yeah, there is. Good eye, Piggy Penguin. Oh, proud to get to report 10. Damn, they go all the way up to 10? God damn, I'm still, I'm only a little over half, half of the the archives so far, Jesus. There's a lot of stuff to collect. Uh, April 4th, or no, April 18th, 2764. We have received troubling reports from multiple administration zones that the replicants have started to behave as if they have developed sense of self. It's currently under investigation what implications this might have for Project Gestalt as a whole. As disclosable matters have already been directed to the administrator's union, they have been omitted here. Hmm a sense of self is that is that related to the androids maybe maybe this is the beginning of of the androids because the androids came before the machines <laughs> holy crap you're gonna load in those uh, textures game okay <laughs> i was like damn okay i think it's finally time to head to the flooded city and go to that uh that tower which is also apparently nearby is supposed to be uh uh tubi's flight unit I, should, I need to uh, check out as well, so, okay. Oh, by the way, I sort of figured out what uh, was going on with uh, Emil during his boss fight at the end. That that super that movie kept doing, that kept killing me at the end. So, I, what I believe was happening was, I, th I, I think the moment he starts playing his song, I think you have a certain amount of time to kill him before he automatically kills you. I thought first that that just move would just come out when you had, like, a certain amount of health that left. But I think it's more how long the song's been playing. I, I Sort of like uh, the music box in Five Nights at Freddy's, you know? You just have to kill him before that, uh... The song reaches its end, and your death arrives. Behold! The big floating tower Hello. thing in the sky! This is the resource recovery unit. Now activating defense mode. Seriously, how'd you even see me coming? It's like I was doing anything. Okay, so should be something nearby. Let me have a look see. You know, you, you could just float up into the sky and lock the doors and I'd never be able to get in there. Oh, there's a lock chest over here too. I, I couldn't remember. I was like, was there one over here? In the really hard to get area, but I was having a hard time getting back here though. Newspaper scrap. August 17th, Nagoya, the Nagoya Daily article. Uh, 
Uh, part of it seems to be cut off. Ray is no end to the to the refugees that flow into the central areas from the capital region in the east, and many camps have been pushed to their breaking point. But while the situation is critical, the increasingly fierce conflict with Legion has left the government in a state of dysfunction. Let's all keep our neighbors in our thoughts during these trying times and reject the temptation to profit financially from refugees. After all, we could easily be next. Hmm. Legion. Again with the Legion. Okay, can I make it back? Uh... Ah, no! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> That's up, uh... A 9S jumps into a pool. B belly flop! Oh yeah, by the way, apparently a bit of DLC is going to be coming out pretty soon for this game. I think, like, in just a few days. <laughs> Fortunately, before my uh, LP will be done. So we'll probably check that out before uh, the, uh, I totally finish off this Let's Play. Are you done with the... Are you ready to let me in yet? Something of value here, please. I'll set you off with the... I shall blow you up. Ah! That's something you unlock after you complete the game or something. I don't know. Uh... Where is it? It's not that bit little building over there or something, is it? Oh, there it is. Oh man, that is hard to find. I never in a million years would have seen this. The remains of a Yorha flight unit. ID of Yorha unit 2B confirmed within the craft. This belonged to 2B. Unsent message found within memory of flight unit. Play it. Oh. This is Yorha unit 2B. If anyone is listening to this. There's something I need you to do. If you ever meet up with your unit 9S. Aww. I want him. I need him. I'm sorry. Please just give him the following message. I love him. Yes. The time I was able to spend with you. Aww. It was like memories of pure light. Thank you. Nine. End of message. Oh. To be. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, why? Fuck. Oh my god. Counter capacity. Oh. <laughs> so yeah, it's passing out of me. Oh my god, why? Why? Go away, stop following me. Oh, it was so sweet. Or 9S. I want to be to come back so 9S can stop being sad. Because then it makes me sad. There's something written here too. It reads Soul Box. <laughs> of course it does. I like Meat Box better. <laughs> I mean, the next one will be like Bone Box or something. We got the meat, the bone, and the soul. All right. What weird shit we got this time? Got a bet a big room full of enemies. Oh, and a chest. Yeah, just suspiciously sitting out in the open like this. Oh, yeah, I'm no sure. Enemies. <laughs> they le oh, they left us a gift. Oh, goody. Oh, goody. Thank you. Ah, fuck it. Get out of my way. Oh, damn it. I gotta kill you. Ah. Ah. Fuck. There we are. A full recovery! Yay? Oh, I get it. I have to break the system protection before I can reach the core. Huh. So that's how it works. Oh. Okay. That's in lock chess. This is gonna be the hacking tower then. I guess so. It's no nice of them to leave all this free shit out for me. Oh, hey, a weapon! Oh, my! Faith. Look at all the machine life forms you've murdered. Such dogged persistence is worthy of a special present. Well, thanks. Ha, <laughs> you're not so bad after all. Faith, a sword wielded by a loyal attendee, attendant. Now they're just messing with us. We have a special present for you. A token of appreciation for all the machine life form requests you completed. <laughs> Wait, hold on. I think I'm grabbing some good shit, so let's go ahead and destroy it. God dang it. Got so many chips. As a reward for trying to understand machine life forms, be a free congratulations. And thanks for all the Android requests you completed. We have a special present for you. 
Oh, every time I open chest, she says something different. I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, hello. Top down perspective. Full top down perspective. Ow. All done. Analysis. Okay. There are two blocking devices on this floor. Proposal hack into all blocking devices. Duh. <laughs> I know, Pod. Come on. Okay, here's one. Be gone. Stupid triangles. Okay. Ooh, 10,000 G unit. Okay. Cure all status. All right. Tower system outline. The tower facility processes and computerizes resources sent by resource recovery units for use in its launch device. Made up of 256 stratum, it can filter and compress information with a turbidity of less than 2300 and have it recorded in, to the payload in approximately 27 minutes and 32 seconds. Details regarding routes required for the digestion of androids are recorded separately. The allowed diversity learning error is 7.21%. Wow, so cool. The more you know. The fuck are you talking about? That huge structure is some kind of launch platform. A structure that size could probably shoot something into space pretty easily. Mm. So this is some kind of cannon aimed at the human server on the moon? Insufficient data. Oh. Cannot confirm or deny. Damn it. Damn it. Looking to blow it up. Analysis. The people ain't there, there man. Blocking devices on this floor. Yeah. And I hack into all of them, right? Oh, my jam's coming on too. Okay. One down. Resilience plus six. I'm getting everyone, every like, Regular chip plus six. Are they any good or are they like, oh, hey, I got a heal drops plus six. That, oh my God, that's awesome. <laughs> well, I guess. I'll, although the, the usefulness for that one is not quite as high. Oh, now that is more like it. An experience game plus six. And it's a diamond. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, that's a good drop rate too. Drop rate plus six. Yeah, actually, they're all pretty, pretty decent. If they're not diamond, they're 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 better than just the ones you buy from the shop. Blah blah. I think this is still my favorite song in the whole game, honestly. <laughs> ah, red everywhere. Ah, fuck me. All right, there we go. Ooh, a power part M. Awesome. All right. You're all plus heal all. All right, okay. Oh, there's the thing. Don't read it. The Yura black box circuitry. It's made from cores from the machines. That's... No. That uh, can't be true. What? Something you said it might have been fixed in the... Uh, it might have been... Elevator controls unlocked. It might have been fixed in the Steam update. I didn't see anything in the patch notes that mentioned that, though. But let's just... Better not to risk it. Um, What? So the... The machines make up the black boxes that are used for the androids here? Does that mean the machines came before the androids then? Okay. Not for you. Huh? What's going on here? My body. Whoa. Those are my memories. But why? Oh, this is funky. Uh oh. Back to yeah, this little round area. Oh no! What the shit? Wait. Whoa! What is going on? Is it two B? That's two B's data. I know these are just memories. But still. Oh. Oh yeah, this little sword is like a data sword. It's cool. No, don't. 
Don't do this. Damn it, stop! Was it deleting his memories of her or something? Stay the hell out of my goddamn memories! These belong to me and me alone! Get away from them! Ah, no, not today. You're going down. Ah! They're mine. My memories, you hear me? Ah! Oh, fuck. Why? What's happening? Why? <laughs> oh god, Ninus is totally losing it. Yay, you got the ocean access key. I don't understand why it turned to her and why was he stabbing her all of a sudden? Is he letting out his pent up sexual rage? He's like, God damn it! Just wanted to fuck her! Ah. Uh, it's killing my insides. This is the current status of Unit 9S. Affirmative. His mental state has become dangerously unstable. Action must be taken immediately. I noticed something while providing support to A2. Enemy machine life forms have begun sharing data with each other. We'd better look into that. I'll share the data with you, so see what you can find out. Affirmative. You guys are always I talking about sharing data. Report about 9S. What is it? I'll share the data. His psychological state has deteriorated to a grave level. We'd better handle that quickly, too. Agreed. Yeah. Not sure what we should do, however. Agreed. <laughs> Proposal. Rest, combined with data checking and maintenance. Agreed. I will make the suggestion immediately. And he's not going to listen. We can't really force him to do anything, you know? So, it's like, what? <laughs> they're just little helpers, not really like they're masters or anything, so... Oh, fuck. <sighs> Where's the next resource recovery unit? Alert. NFCS failure. Speculation. Failure caused by intense combat and lack of maintenance. Near field controls are down? Great. Proposal. Overhaul system at resistance camp. I don't have that kind of time. Alert. Entering battle without a functioning sword constitutes an unacceptable risk. Oh. Unit 9S should have Devila initiate repairs at the resistance camp. Shit. I say, okay, so no, I don't have a sword. That sucks. Uh, come on. Run. Oh, hey, whoa. My, my menu's getting all weird, too. Ah, losing fucking mind. Hope I can transport there. Oh, good, I can. Fix me, please. Hey. Need healing. Need Phoenix down. Oh dear. What happened to you? Wounded in battle. NFCS not functioning. I'm amazed you were even able to drag yourself here. This is gonna take a bit, so just hang tight. This is terrible. Your motor cortex is full of holes. I can't believe you even managed to walk here. Nine ass fucking badass. Oh, there we go. All right, you're all good. <laughs> that didn't take long at all. Ah, oh, that's better. Nine S, I need you to promise me something. Don't die alone. <sighs> I don't think Two B would want that either. I know. Or Nine S. Let's up upgrade this thing. Okay, attack speed. Or attack speed. Bullet absorb. Ooh. Like it would heal me or something. Hot. 
Mark the next resource recovery unit on the map. It's gonna be the amusement park, right? Yep. To the amusement park. Oh, hello. I didn't even realize it's actually like consume the or is it consume the castle? Oh, so, no, I was just kind of sitting in front of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't sound so cheerful all the damn time. Over and over. That language again. This reads God box. God, God box. Huh? Okay. What are these machines doing talking about gods? They all deserve to fucking become gods when I slay them all. Now we're actually loading this time. Okay. Oh, hello. Uh, why did the machines attack Pascal's village? Aren't they all the same? Unknown. Well, aren't you helpful? Proposal. Unit A2 should gather further data on the current state of machine life. Hello? 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 Oh, goody. Goody, goody. Creepy. The hell was that? Large structural unit of machine life for origin activated to the east. A large what now? What the heck is going on around here? Unknown. Well, let's go check out this large structural unit. But first, let's go talk with uh, Anemone and learn more shit. Change number two. The way you talk and act is completely different from how you you were in the past, and you become a true leader. I'm nothing compared to Rose. Oh. Actually, I well, I have the record stored on that external hard drive. I thought I should preserve memories of the time we fought together, and I also think you have a right to see them. You and I must never forget. I know. Good. Okay. Here we go. Okay, Yorha Pearl Harbor Descent, Personal Record, Part 1. My name is Nemini, and I lead the Android, Android Resistance. This is a record of ba the battles I've experienced and my losses. I leave it here as a warning to myself. The machine life form attacks attack lands far too close for, for comfort. I smell an acrid a rogue odor and know that some of my hair has been singed off. Um, Anemone, true for now, that's an order. That's my Captain Rose. I bear her without hesitation, running from the front as soon as I can take out a few nearby enemies. Feet flying beneath me, I leap into the hastily built trench where my resistance comrades are gathered. How many battles is this now? The same sights and sounds, the same struggle of attrition. My resistance forces play the same war on repeat with no end in sight. I don't even remember why we're fighting anymore, but it must continue regardless. I must continue until one side or the other is dead. This looks bad, Shion. Sh Shion. What, what should I do? What should we do? Uh, calm, calm down, Lily. We'll find an opening somewhere. Don't serve for an opening. Don't serve for an opening. You make one! Dahlia, wait! I grabbed Dahlia's arm before she can flee the trench and return to Rose. She brought us here after all. She must have a plan of some kind. But as the enemy horde closes in, Rose simply squints us off in the distance. Let's put a change in the enemy movement. She's she says finally. Someone just start fighting over there. But that's not possible. Stam stammers Margaret. We're all here. Margaret's right. There are only nine of us left capable of fighting machines. Captain Rose, uh, Gerbera, Lily, Sonya, Erica, Margaret, Shion, Dahlia, and me, Anemone. We're also left of the eight, eight descent, for descent forces. The one that took place roughly 200 years ago. An uneasy Sonya pulls Shion close and chews on a loose strand of hair. I don't like it, she says. What What if it's some kind of machine trap? Wait for a while, heart pounding until I hear the enemy fire lesson. Okay, I say. This looks like our chance. Let's pull back. Someone's fighting out there, an enemy. Cries Dahlia. We can't abandon them! So you want to risk all of our lives for some stranger? Come on! Don't even know if this mysterious fighter's on our side or not. It's not what I said! Enough of you two! Barks Shion. The captain makes the final decision on this. 
After Xion speaks, all of us turn to Captain Rose. She looks us in the eyes and nods slowly before starting to speak. Jabera, the enemy is heading toward the explosives we set up earlier, yes? Jabera thinks for a moment. Did he mention it? Yeah, they are. A slight smile crosses Rose's face, and she still seems pretty perfectly composed. Good, then if this goes well, we might be able to take them all out. Joe, leave this charge and go get get to those explosives, says Rose. Let the blast take most of them out, then clean up the stragglers. Identifying our unknown mysterious fighters can wait until we're done. No one objects to the captain's decision. The moment she issues the order, we all leave from the trenches one and re-enter the fray. We e we reach the, the battle. We find that what appears to be another set of androids dressed in strange black outfits. Before they even know what's happening, we detonate the explosives, killing the remaining machines, and turn our guns in their direction. All right, I say to the stranger, start talking. Uh, Easy, says one of the mis mysterious androids. We're on your side. We're new, new models rolled out as part of something called Project Yorha. Really? I say. We haven't heard anything about new models. I probably speak with more bluster than necessary, but I have to make sure that they're actually on our side. I don't think they were lying necessarily, but I can't read their expressions thanks to the, the giant goggles they wear. <laughs> it seems like it's, this might end up being quite long. <laughs> this <laughs> uh, text section. Fuck me sideways. Uh, I didn't mean to skip that. We learned that the four androids refer to each other as number two, number four, number 16, number 21. Okay. They also aren't in a hurry to share much more. Uh, Mission's top secret, one of them says. That's why you haven't heard about us yet. So I draw my knife and attempt to gauge their reactions. So in other words, no one will know if any if any better if I kill you right now. Uh, Stand down, Anemone. Says Rose softly. No! Cries Lily. She's right. We've seen all the, how quickly the enemy is evolving. Who's said that these four aren't machines that just look human? My companion is not in agreement. This damn war has made us all suspicious. One of the strangers, number 16, I believe, draws a long knife from a sheath. It's a fight you want, she says. I'm happy to give it to you. Before I can respond, Dolly leaps in front of me with her weapon at the ready. That's it, we're gonna fight! Just before the battle can interrupt, the android called number two steps forward. Hey, that's me! Wait, she says. There used to be 16 of us. This is number two, but the others died during the descent. We're isolated and alone out here. Reinforcements are coming, and that means we have to finish this mission with the soldiers we have left. We don't need more enemies right now. We need, what we need is allies. She finishes the speech here with a soft sigh, as if trying and failing to hold her emotions in check. I know that sort of voice. It's the voice of someone who still has hope despite all the fucking odds. Well, uh, you know, okay, Resistance Rose and an enemy. You know, I, well, I like that we're getting a backstory. I kind of wish it wasn't all in just like a big massive text file. So, really, can we get gotten like a little flashback for A2 here? According to the Yorah team, there's an enemy server beneath Mount K Kaela. If we could take it out, we might finally gain some ground in this endless war. But in order for that to happen, we need to work together. After a bit of thought, Rose decides to throw in with the new models. It's a relationship that changes as time goes on. Uh, what are you doing, Dahlia? Just showing this idiot how weak she is, replies a winded Dahlia. How? This is her opponent, number 16. You're obviously outmatched. The two of them are taking turns hitting each other. <laughs> Seems friendly enough, as th those things go. Plus, they've been doing it for so long that both of them are out of energy. They likely couldn't punch through a piece of paper at this point. The rest of the group stares at the combatants and tries not to grin. Dahlia and number 16 seem to butt heads over the smallest little things. Maybe it's because they're so much alike. It's almost annoying how quickly muscle heads learn to like one another. The rest of us converse as Dahlia and 16 continue to spar. Uh, we call each other by names that I, I gave us, explains Rose. I see, Respons response number four. I thought it was strange that you didn't use code numbers. She nods while she speaks as though this all makes perfect sense. Suddenly Captain Rose breaks out into a wide grin. You know what? She says. I think we should give all of you names as well. No. <laughs> says number two. It would be a waste. Rose's eyes, eyes are warily. They're a waste? You can name me when the mission is over. She replies as a blush rises in her cheeks. I can tell her words also serve as a wish for success. <laughs> ah. <laughs> ah, she's just a little Sundere, John, isn't she? All right, responds Rose. I'll think of a name for you by then. She knows this This is a fleeting promise, as most things such things are, but it doesn't matter. Oh. Uh, all right, I can see us growing closer to the OI team. We love each other. Well, my f the friends are growing closer to them, at least. You're being careless. I stay much louder than I intend. Luckily, the others either don't hear or decide to ignore it. Don't be wrong, I'm not... About to go against the captain's judgment, but that doesn't mean I'm ready to just lie down and trust our new friends. Ours is a solitary existence as long as it's been abandoned by the moon. 
No matter how they cried, mourned, or struggled, the voices of our departed comrades went unanswered. So how can you trust an entire squad of new models that you just met? What's wrong, Anemone? I hear Lily calling to me. She looks she's likely concerned about me being apart from the rest of the group. Nothing. I begin. I I'm fine. Before I could complete my thought, Lily suddenly opens her mouth and emits a terrible scream. Ah! Lily's scream echoes throughout the entire camp. It's heartbreaking. It's, it's agony. It's horrible. Uh, She's infected! Screams Rose. Lily's infected! We all draw weapons out of instinct as much as anything else, pointing them at our comrades. She continues to scream and scream and scream. We all know what's happening. We've seen it before. It's a logic virus, a machine weapon that hijacks Android systems and overwrites their data. And since there's no known cure, it's also a fucking death sentence. Die, bitch! I need to show her mercy. I need to set her free. My fingers rest on the trigger, yet, yet I hesitate. Before I can make that final fateful decision, I hear a voice rise up from somewhere behind me. Stop, you can't do this. You can't just let your friend die! It's number 21. The girl I thought to be cool and composed beyond all measure was pleading with me to spare Lily's life. What do I do? What the hell do I do? Lily said you were like a family to her. You can't abandon family, not before you exhaust every possibility. What can you do then? I'll use my power to erase the virus. That's impossible! Rose spat out what we were all thinking, but before we can act, Lily starts to and send nearby comrades flying with impossible strength. I've seen infected androids before. I know how much damage they can do once the virus turns off their limiters. They'll fight and fight until they're utterly destroyed. Dolly and number 16 rush into the fray, trying to suppress their former friend, but she swats them away like flies. Biah! How many of us has been, have been affected now? How many friends have I been forced to put down? The heart I'm not supposed to have aches in, with a thought. It aches as I remember all the identification numbers that have been retired. When did I start giving them names? When did I decide I simply couldn't endure it any longer? Machine reprogramming sequence. That voice, number 21, she's screaming something about reprogramming? I don't know what to do. I'm, I'm lost. So my vision slowly clears. I see number 21 putting commands into her terminal while number two and number four hold her down. They hold her as she rides and Rose stares at me with surprise. Oh no, I'm holding Lily too. <laughs> Bar Skinner, 21, 16, and four. So I'm getting like, oh, okay. Well, this, is, this is really adding to my archive now. It's like talking about each of the each of these people. Get more deep backstory on, I guess, them as well. Fourteenth Machine World Pearl, Har Pearl Harbor Descent. The name of the mission entrusted to the Yorha soldiers. Was there ever such furious gunfire, such bombings, continued without pause? Our targets target is the machine server under Mount Kalala, and our situation is dire. We need reinforcement. Reinquesting deployment at once. The music starts! Number two speaks quickly yet calmly, which is all the more remarkable considering the hostile army closing in our position. But the command center in the orbiting satellite informs us no reinforcements will be forthcoming. We are abandoned. We are alone. So we seem to do it from up there, from the satellite, from the moon. We'll do whatever is necessary, says Lily with a grim smile. Dolly and Margaret quickly nod in agreement, as does number 16. They decide to join the re re a rear guard, staying behind to be our shield, even though it comes at the cost of their own lives. Regardless, they all agree without hesitation. For we in the Vanguard won't be jo won't, would be joining them in death soon enough. Without another word, we take we turn our backs to each other and take up positions. We know this is the end. Dala and the others will buy us time to reach the gate at uh, Kala's Peak. Beyond that lies an elevator, and beyond that is the server. If we can destroy it, we'll deal a devastating blow to machine life forms throughout the Pacific region. But as I notice number 21 scout the elevator, I start to feel have a bad feeling about the final stage of our mission. Go on, she says. I've got this. We crowd into the elevator she begins hacking the terminal. She doesn't need to tell us what's happening. It's clear that the elevator won't descend all the way to the server unless someone stays behind to control it. Enemies incoming. They're almost on us. As I speak, I suddenly find myself leaping from the elevator and taking up a position at number 21's side. Almost as if my body is out of, out of my control. Something is wrong. Something. I'll back up number 21. I cry. The rest of you take out the set server. The door closes on my friends. The last thing I see is the face of my captain, Rose. She looks concerned. But then the door, sh door shut and she is no more. That was the last time I ever saw them. Oh, man. But it's alright, I'm gonna finish this, one way or the other. The only sounds we hear are the distant explosions and the rasp of number 21's breathing. Thank you. She whispers, it's for staying with me. I look her at her at her eyes and see the telltale red of a logic virus infection. Oh, fuck me. I was right after all. I saw softly as I draw my weapon. I see my comrades infected before, so I couldn't leave her to die alone. The vaccine she gave Lily is already ineffective. The enemy has evolved. They studied number 21's patterns and developed a new resistance. No one could save her now. When the developer reaches the server, begins 
tw number 21 weekly. Then I'll give you peace. I reply. The elevator moves ever lower, creating a countdown on number 21's life. How much time has passed? How much can I possibly, how much can possibly be left? Too long to wait, yet not long enough for regret. A massive explosion echoes in the distance as the hall surely, slowly shakes. It's the final act of Lily and the others in the rear guard. They just overloaded their own fusion reactors. The sound of our comrades' demise slowly fades from our ears. As it does, number 20 reaches up and slowly removes her goggles. I'm glad I got to meet you, she says. Her eyes are so red, but not completely. There's still a little of herself left. And while it is... Don't, wa don't worry, I say. I'll be with you soon. She smiles as my word reaches her ear words reach her ears. As soon as the elevator touches down, I fire a bullet into number 21's brain. I watch the thing that used to be her tumble to the ground. I stare at the gun I hold in trembling hands. I press it to my temple. This will end it all. The war, my meaningless existence, all of it. It will finally be over. Unforgivable. 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 Your comrade sacrifices themselves and fight to the last breath. They feel suffering, they feel sadness, they feel pain and terror. And yet you would surrender now. Unforgivable! Voice of Battlefield Curse, telling those who, t who survive to see their mission through no matter what. It is another me, crying out. I scream at the top of my lungs and race down the hall. I'll show you. If you're going to push me, I'll show you. You won't be satisfied if it ends with more killing. I leap into the fray with weapons in both hands. Here I am. Here I am! Kill me! As I scream, an explosion suddenly rises up and sweeps everything away. A soft wind touches my cheek. I smell fire. I smell ash. The explosion in the server room was powerful enough to take out Mount Kala itself, reducing the once proud summit to a smoking crater. The machines immediately drop to the ground and stop moving. I look over the scorched earth. Lily, number 16, Rose, number 2, or any of you, I'm the only one left. The only one. I was alive because I had been afraid to die. I begin to giggle. It's a mad thing, crazed even to my own ears. I'll join you soon. You promise to join her soon. How could I have said such a vain, laughable words, such lies? I laugh. I stand in the smoke and the flame and laugh until I think my very throat will tear itself in two. I blink. Daylight drifts through the smoke. I've been standing here all night. My laughter finally depleted, I force myself to my feet. I'm the coward who stayed behind, the coward who lived. Now it's my job to carry on the will of those who fought at my side. Since I can't kill myself, I have to fight until someone who does it for me. I'll endure every, endure every hardship. I'll kill every machine I find. It's my cross to bear. I walk slowly into the west, dragging my broken body along. Damn. Had a rough time here. Number 16. Number 21. Number 4. I'm s sorry I'm still alive. But I'll be joining you as soon as I finish some things up. Nah, that was the last of it. So she didn't realize that A2 was alive either. Got a lot more intel here. Pearl Harbor Descent Records. Oh boy, all right. So we got a lot of them here. Okay, Yorha Gunner 16. A unit from the experimental Yorha Squadron that was utilized during the 14th Machine War. Number 16 possessed a rough and tumble personality ideal for her role as a gunner where she was required to attack foes from a distance. Though she possessed a defined streak that extended to, even to her superiors, she was assigned to the mission anyway due to her tremendous offensive abilities. During her squad's assault on Mount Kala, number 16 volunteered to stay behind and hold off the machine life form army so her companions could continue up the mountain. She fought with great courage alongside members of a local resistance group and managed to hold off overwhelming numbers until the appearance of a Goliath that was unaffected by ordinary weaponry. Seeing no other way to end the fight, she chose to destroy the enemy by overloading and detonating her own fusion reactor. The act of self-sacrifice, despite her defiant nature, is one of the remarkable is one of remarkable interest and like Lee merits further further study. Uh, number 21 possessed a cool and analytical personality that perfectly fit her role as a scanner. Her first and perhaps most impressive achievement was using her analytical abilities to cure a member of a local resistance group who had been infected by a logic virus. So yeah, they did actually manage to cure her, but eventually the virus grew an immunity to it. Unfortunately, she fell victim to the same virus shortly thereafter during the assault on Mount Kala server. Though she fought violently, the vi virus had evolved into a form that she could no longer remove, which eventually led to her asking an allied unit to end her life. Experimental Yorha Unit Number 21's su initial success against the virus has been determined to be valuable information regarding how to construct barriers against the machine life forms and should be included in the basic systems of all the subsequent Yorha squadron members. So I wonder if that maybe it was, and now maybe that's why the virus hasn't sprung up until, you know, sort of towards the end of the game, because now it's like manifested itself in a new way. Though attacker number four possessed an unusually bright and cheerful personality, she still managed to be effective when it came to engaging close quarter combat. In addition to providing a morale boost to the group, the unit also 
used her sunny disposition to form an alliance with the local resistance group. She was eventually killed during the assault on Malkalov's server, the cause of which was self-directed overload of her own freezing reactor. Further research reveals that she undertook this action as a means of protecting her companion, attacker number two. One further note, while this unit's cheerful personality provided certain benefits to overall unit morale, it was responsible for a decrease in fighting spirit during tense combat, as such it is deemed inappropriate for future combat models. Oh, interesting. Like, it, everything's so analytical here that it's like, like, it seems so unfeeling about, like, the deaths of all these people. Okay, and this is A2's, uh, profile. She specialized in close, close quarter combat and was programmed to have a neutral personality. Attacker number two took command of the squadron after the death of its original captain, number one. Despite issuing many questionable commands during her initial time in a leadership role, she eventually formed a working relationship with the Resistance and succeeded in destroying the enemy server located on Mount Ka Ka Kalala. While the experimental unit uh, number two possessed great growth and adaptability ability, she also deserted her post following the destruction of the server, and as of this moment, she has yet to be apprehended. Our R&D group is con currently conducting further research to determine whether or not there were issues with this model's personality settings. The experimental, the missing experimental unit, now designated A2, will be handled by the Type E division. So after that whole thing, she just decided to leave. I, seems like we're still missing some specifics, though, of exactly like what happened on her end. And we only got it from Anemone's perspective. Okay, Resistance Rose. This android encountered by the experimental Yorha Squadron is the leader of a group composed of many Resistance members. A survivor of the 8th Descent operation, she continued to wage guerrilla warfare in the Pacific region thereafter. Unable to stop the ever proliferating machines, she continued to fight a war of bitter attrition for over 200 years. After encountering the experimental Yorha Squadron, she sought to change the tide of battle through fighting alongside them. She was destroyed by machine lifeforms in the server room underneath Makala during the mission to destroy said server. Okay, Anemone, a member of the resistance group led by Dahlia that was encountered by the experimental Yorha Squadron. This unit was said to be unusually cautious and show the great greatest initial distrust of the experimental Yorha Squadron. However, her disposition gradually grew more amicable after Scanner Number 21 managed to eradicate a logic virus that had affected one of her comrades. She ex executed an infected unit, Number 21, in the elevator hall of the Mount Kala server facility and went missing shortly thereafter. Okay, the 14th Machine War, Pearl Harbor Descent Summary. For this descent, 12 experimental Yorha units were deployed to destroy the server located inside Mount Kala on o Oahu Island. However, there they encountered heavy enemy anti-air defenses during the initial stage of the mission, resulting in the death of all but four squad members. The remaining units then joined up with the members of a local resistance movement and decided to continue the mission despite their initial losses. Even in the face of a fierce enemy counter-strike and overwhelming numerical odds, a handful of units managed to reach the target location, at which point unit number four overloaded a fusion reactor and destroyed the enemy server. De server. While destruction of the server struck a blow against the enemy forces, the true purpose of this operation was to monitor and research how the experimental Yorha units behaved during battle. This information would then be studied and integrated into new Yorha models once the project were to proceed past the experimental phase. I see. One of concern has been verified that the black box signal of the experimental unit attacker number two remains live. Due to the possibility of the unit being captured and compromised by the enemy, and due to the unit's existence itself being a matter of the highest level of confidentiality, it has been decided that it is to be recovered or disposed of by the Type E division once the group is fully operational. Hmm, interesting. Is it... I'm wondering then, did she really turn against them? Was it like that they, now that they were essentially got the information they needed, they were like, okay, we're just gonna like scrap you or something? I mean, that's why she didn't come back? They, make, they really didn't make it sound like that. Like, well, the whole purpose of this was just to get this information so we could use it for the next models. And she did say A2 was like, you know, it was... It was uh, the bunker that betrayed me, you know. Oh, all right. Well, that took a bit of a, a bit of time, but uh, hopefully you guys didn't find that too boring. Hopefully, you uh, found something to do while I was just sitting there reading uh, reading you a little bedtime story. I don't know. Maybe a new story, Papa Nico. Okay, settle down, little picky penguins. Okay, let me read you about how this army of androids was brutally and horribly murdered, and all their friends died. It was all your fault. Okay, so am I going? I'm actually going to where 9S is, right? But is this still taking place before 9S was here? I wonder. Oh, what? Oh, no. Probably not by this point. We see Devila and uh, Popola are here now, which probably means maybe he's already there then before she got there, or uh, she's getting there just shortly before he does. One or the other. I ain't got no money. I'm not really sure why my, my pod is directing me to this uh, other location. I thought the pods were working together to keep 9S and A2 apart. And they're bringing them together to work their work out their issues. Oh. Whoa. 
what's happening? Are we switching again? <laughs> I just got here. Yep. I'm going back. <laughs> Excessive combat activity will put unacceptable strain on your body. Shut up. Negative. This support unit is assigned to Yorha Unit 9S. As such, being concerned for said unit's well-being is a requirement. <sighs> Whatever. Damn. Ninus hates everything. Oh god. Welcome to the block pushing tower. Fuck! Ah! Oh shit. Oh, here we go. Ah! Death is coming! Ah, oh, just my jam starts again. It's the tarp tower, I guess. I don't know why. It's Opening that chest and automatically turn the lights off, but. Alright, up we go. Oh, fuck me! Well, let's get the lights on this time. Ugh. Oh, get out of my way! Melt before my awesome might! Oh, hello! And goodbye. Oh god. Never rotating. Come on, is this all you got? Take anything you throw at me. I beat a meal for God's sakes. Oh fuck. Focus on that thing, hey! Oh, reach the top. What do you got for me? Model 210. Oh, fuck me. Come on. Operator? Stop fucking up, 9S! <laughs> Are you freaking kidding me? Come on, don't make him have to kill 210 now. Oh, no. So this operator model is... Affirmative. Operator 210. Volunteer to undergo Type B equipment transition during previous descent. Sent to front lines as Unit 21B. Recorded as missing in action four hours later. No. Operator! No! By the way, you guys sort of pointed out that was the reason why she was treating Nine at Ness so weird, like a child in a way. It was because she, she was saying before she wanted a family, so she probably read that's how or a parent would treat a child, like, you know, their child was like that. So, ah, uh, so painful. Stop! It's all right. It's all right. Because I'm going to kill you. Damn it. Hey, what's up? See? I saved your ass. Don't be mad at me anymore. Are we friends? I 
All right, see ya. Hey, too. To be told me. She told me she wanted you to become a good person. You. Don't you dare talk to me about two feet! <laughs> <laughs> Oh god. Oh now I'm fighting as her with this thing. Oh fuck you. Analysis. Your high unit Nyas is still alive. Query. Why would unit A2 be concerned with the status of unit Nyas after turning on your hub? August. Auguste. That's the little robot and the and his big brother. So he did. He fed him. He, he gave him the stuff and he came back again. <laughs> the little robot has a bucket on his head. Oh, my God. He's made him stronger than ever before. Oh, wait. Did, oh, they all have buckets on their head. Man, I'm melting these guys. Oh, they all do. Sorry. <laughs> Saying I'm big brother now. I, I, big sister, get her. Whoa, hey, all right. Ooh, free stuff. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> big out. Ow. Justice. Man, Dinos just keeps falling down a hole before he gets a chance to fight A2, doesn't he? Stupid floor. Uh, why does everything have to fuck up 9S more? It's like, oh, what the hell? Oh, pod 4-2. Pod Contact initiated between pod 4-2 and pod 153. What does it matter, pod 4-2? This protocol is not an interface intended for conversation use. <laughs> Acknowledged. However, this pod has a confidential transmission for pod 153. I was wondering, I was like, am I still loading? I got like a second load screen. Understood. Begin trans tra transfer. An error is detected in the transmission network between pod 042 and 153. Hypothesis. Said error is fragmented data caused by a deterioration of the transmission environment. It may be so. However, it may also not <laughs> be so. Message unclear. Clarification requested. Had repeated information exchanged between multiple pods, an unexpected phenomenon has occurred. We pods have developed unusually protective feeling to feelings towards support targets to be A2 and 9S. Query, could this be our will? Unknown, the definition of will is unclear. Will is the question of whether pods are capable of their own self-determination. Even if we, it were possible, such actions cannot be abided. Successful mission fulfillment is all that matters. Whatever the case, we tactical support units have a duty to see this through to the end. Duty? Heh. <laughs> you sounded like an android just there. Agreed. But just as androids are influenced by humans, so are we tied to our creators. Perhaps. Pod 153. Do not die. The concept of death has no meaning to tactical support units. However, your expression of concern is appreciated. I also hope that you do not die, Pod 042. Yeah. Oh, they love check each other. Complete. Memory check complete. Ow. Maintenance mode complete. Yorha Unit 9S, activate. <sighs> good morning, 9S. <laughs> it's always good morning. Am I... Analysis. The enemy structural unit collapsed during battle. Unit 9S suffered damage from the fall and was placed in emergency suspend mode. Fall location was deemed too dangerous, thus said unit was transported to current location. All system checks and reactivation complete. Operator. Operator model 210 is deceased. Black box signal not found. Oh. Situation report. Tower access authentication key acquired. Oh. The required number of authentication keys have been acquired. The tower is now open for investigation. Good. Okay. By the way, I actually did this off screen, but there 
You get, as you guys point out, there's a, there was a weapon down here. And god dang it, this really was well hidden for me. This looks like a dead end initially, but there's actually a tunnel in here. And you climb this ladder, right up there is another one of those shrines that has a 2B's version of the spear. Yeah, Virtuous Dignity. White spear used by Samurai of the East. And so, it should do the Cruel Arrogance. So I think I've actually gotten all their, uh, their fancy weapons, or the ones, they're, they're based off that same model. A spear, a, 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 a short, a small sword, and a large sword. And assuming there aren't any, like, well, actually, no, there are fist versions of it, aren't there? But now I've got all three keys, so I can finally get in that dumb tower over here. All right, I want to see, check in with this other scanner and see if I can finish this quest yet. I've got 86% of unit, of unit data, so. I did, I appreciate it. That enough? I'm trying my best, so I just can't cover all the ground on my own. Thanks again, Nines. It really helped me out of here. Looks like for your trouble. And finding more data. Uh, God damn, seriously? So I guess I have to get all of it before I finish this quest. Ugh, good lord. That would take for that's gonna take a while. Okay. You Ah uh, Digging myself a bath. Last but not least. Yeah, oh man, that took a while. Okay, let's ignore all of you guys, and there we go. <laughs> yep. Oh, goody. We look forward to serving you. Alert. Enemy caution level rising. Oh, fuck. Cause is most likely concerned over unit 9 has gaining access to tower. Ah, fuck. Out of my way! Be gone! Damn it! They won't stop coming! Alert. Allied signal detected. Allies? Oh! Wait, you? Nine S, we've been expecting you. <clears throat> the two of us will take things from here. You need to open the door to the tower. Okay, I'm on it. Alberma. What are you doing here? Remember your promise? What are you talking about? Come on, Nines. Hack in while you can. None of this makes any sense. God, it's a we'll long... explain everything once we're inside. <sighs> it's a long hacking period for this one. Ah! Uh, oh my God, zooming out. We've got this, Nines. You just focus on hacking. Uh, holy shit! You guys are kicking their ass pretty well. Alright, it took forever getting here, so don't fuck up. Uh. Get out of my way. Alright, oh. No, I think I have to kill you. Boom. Uh. Oh god. Oh god, what's going on? This barrier. Analysis. It's part of a closed defensive system. Well, how do I break it down? Hypothesis. Unit 9S could permit the subconsciousness data to lose control. The resulting energy surge has an acceptable probability of temporarily paralyzing the barrier. That's almost as bad as not going in at all! What is going on? What happened? It's 
the barrier. Help us! No, don't! You can't do anything! The wall's got us so Enough! Devil and I, we have to atone for our sins no matter what! But if you do that, your circuits will... Why is everyone dying in this game? Right. Come on! I hope so too. Dead. Fuck. Stop killing off all these fucking people. Oh god. Alert data records discovered for units Devola and Popola. Do you wish to open this data now? But now open it later. Yes, open it now. Why would I would why wouldn't I? Oh, another another text thing. Okay, now we're gonna learn a bit more about them. A dusty wind kisses my cheeks. Very insane. We press forward one step at a time. We have nowhere else to go after all. Because our models, the Devil and Popola models, are defective. Record transitions in the project's initial phase. When we first woke, there were still people. They had flesh, egos, emotions, souls. They had issues. They issued us a single order: function as observers of Project Gestalt. This is the sole mission of the twin Devola and Popola models. It is the only reason we exist at all. We were the latest model, though many companions shared our appearance. There was a sparkle in all of our eyes, a sense of pride at having been entrusted with humanity's future. And yes, there was anxiety as well. But we exist as a pair. We shared destiny's burden as a pair. And because of that, all hesitation was swept away. Each pair was given their own cities as observation areas. We were ordered to guide the replicants with our own hands, all for the sake of the promised time that would one day arrive. We were the only ones who could handle such a duty. We were observers, after all. Ah! Ah! Watch out! Devilo staggers and falls in the soft yet unforgiving sand. I hurry to her side and sigh with relief and when I find she's not seriously hurt. Are you alright? Sorry, sis. I guess I spaced out there for a bit. She smiles. The same wry smile I know so well, but as, as she rubs absently at her leg, it is wrapped in a white bandage. Your bandage is coming undone. Here, let me change it. It's alright, Popola. Come on. We have to go before we lose the flight. We won't be going anywhere if Sang gets into that thing. Now quit whining and hold still. I'll be quick. Devola grunts and turns away. I take it as consent. Soon we are resting in the shade of a nearby rock as I pull the bandage free. Artificial skin, torn and bloody, peeks out from beneath the bandage. Judging by Devola's current lack of ambulatory control, I imagine the circuitry underneath has been damaged as well. Taking a deep breath, I check the circuit to see if it can be repaired, replace the bandage, and hope for the best. Oh, well, what the fuck? What, what am I on an adventure novel now? Uh, check circuitry if it can be repaired. As expected, wiring in the nerve circuitry has been damaged. Replacing will require new connectors as well as some tools, none of which is easy to find in a desert. Sorry about this, sis. Mutters Devola. I rest smile again. It kills me every time. Do you dare apologize? I responded. You've done nothing wrong. I calmly change the bandage, trying not to let my, my worries show. I make it as tight as possible so no sand can slip inside. I can do until, all I can do until I get the proper materials. But that's going to be a tall order, considering our current condition. I'm sorry, sister. Okay, now you're apologizing? We both apologize while insisting the other's apology isn't necessary. It's kind of funny in a way, such a trivial exchange under such circumstances. We laugh together, the sound echoing across the desert before being stolen by the cool evening wind. Report regarding the increase in relapses. There has to be some way to prevent relapses. Oh. Wait, uh Prevent relapses. Devilish sharp voice echoes through our private recorders. You must be quiet, sister. The replicants will hear. I, I, I'm guessing. I, I think I probably would have to play the original near to know who the replicants are are supposed to be. They they would understand if they did. That might be true, but regardless. Annoyed by my hesitation, Devil crosses her legs and scowls. The black squirrel took another victim. She says. That's three this month. It's spreading way too fast. Let's wait and see what happens. I'm tired of hearing you say that. Her shout makes me jump, just a little, but enough for her to notice, seeing that her eyes suddenly open wide. I'm sorry, it's not your fault. I shouldn't have lashed out like that. It's okay, I understand. It's all going wrong. You can feel it too, right? I... When I was first assigned to Project Gestalt, I was over the moon with pride, but now my chest hurts just to think about it, if it were to fail. Before we knew it, the replicants had gained a sense of self, and the Sprax scrawl started raging out of control. It moved fast, so fast, like a wind. 
Popola and I would go to the observation room and act like it was all okay. We talked to the replicants as if we didn't have a care in the world. But at night, we just told each other and share the horror of it all. I'm glad you were with me, murmurs Popola. Could have been, could have handled being an observer all alone. We were able to endure because we had each other, I replies softly. The human sees coming. Is that why they made a twin model? Were they really so clever? Were they really so cruel? I couldn't have done this by myself. I would, I would have descended to madness. I simply couldn't bear such a burden all alone. When I get the chance, I'm going to try contacting another- Contact another city, she says. Maybe these abnormalities are a local phenomenon. I pray it's the case, I reply. Even if, if we're no, of no use ourselves, things will still work out if the others can- Observers can pull through. Don't worry, it's going to be okay. But it wasn't okay. Nothing was okay. All thanks to the, a pair of devil and popola models from another town. And these are the ones that fucked everything up. The wind rubs my cheek, the sand grazes my skin. It's grown cold out here. We walk with a new purpose, hoping to make up for lost time. Devil up loses her balance every now and then, and it gets bad after a while. I sit myself under her arm so she won't fall again, and we press on. So you're like, alright. Well, that dad will be dancing anytime soon, but yeah, it's fine. She smiles as she says this, but I can tell she doesn't have much left. And yet, she continues to smile, also I won't worry. I remember when our resistance allies injured her leg. I was furious, beyond furious. I wanted to scream and cry and lose myself in it, but then she smiled and all that rage just drifted away. Do you think we have the same face yet such different smiles? One day I realized how she reminded me of the, the martyrs I'd seen in old records. That was the day we decided to leave our town forever. Record of Project Gestalt's End. Our role as observers ended on the day Project Gestalt collapsed, all due to the actions of Devil and Popola models from another town. With the, so these ones had like gone rogue or something. With the original Gestalt lost, humanity was doomed to an, an ex inevitable extinction. Knowing this, we gathered what remaining replicant data we could find and launched it to the surface of the moon. And though successful, success was an unlikely as finding a lost, sand grain, a lost sand grain in the desert, we still had to attempt it. We still had to try. We were androids, you see. Protecting humanity was our instinct. Other androids beholden to that same instinct began to direct their hate at the devil and popular models who snuffed out humanity. It starts small, a few offhand remarks, the occasional glance, but even the smallest things have weight, and with enough of them combined, that weight eventually became, becomes a boulder. Emotions boiled over, remarks became jeers, and soon enough, my sister and I were the perfect target for persecution. At first, we simply accepted the fact that our friends turned on us. It was almost unavoidable, I suppose. We were observers for Project Gestalt, after all, and while we didn't cause it to fail, with the people who did, well, they looked just like us. So we accepted it. We took the resentment and score. We endured it. Endured it. Because as crazy as it sounds, I think we actually felt responsible. We moved from town to town in an effort to avoid persecution, but in one such town, my seemingly infinite patience finally broke. My sister Devla met with unprovoked violence at the hands of a resistance member. She said something in response to his taunts. Something quiet. And though her words were ambiguous, he slashed her leg nearly in two. My vision narrowed, everything went red, and then she smiled at me. It's okay, sis. There's nothing we can do. But it was too late. My emotions were no longer in control. I'm simply not strong enough to stand aside and let the most important person in the world come to harm. Devla and I left the town that same day. Violence like that wouldn't stop. It was going to happen again. It wouldn't be coming from just one person. So rather than just let them kill us, we ran. I guess it was the greatest resistance I could muster. We lose the sun as dark clouds gather overhead. We continue our march. A cold wind blasts us, stealing what little body heat we have left. I smell rain in the air. We continue our march. Sometimes we hear animals howling in the distance. It makes us flinch every time. We will continue our march because this, even this is better than the suffering at the hands of our fellow androids. Why must we suffer this persecution? I know we're the same model as the androids who doomed humanity, so I understand that part. At least a little, anyway. But at the same time, we're not them. We're not the same. We are who we, we are, and that Devil and Popola were who they were. That's how I felt when I saw Devila being hurt. I wanted to shout at everyone. I wanted to scream. As far as I'm concerned, there's only one Devila, and for her, there's only me. No one can take the other's place. Rain falls from the sky. It stimulates our sensation nerves like cold, cold needles. We'd eat maidens badly, but that's a pipe dream, I suppose. No Andrew would dare help a pair of outcasts like us. Are you cold, Devila? I'm alright, as long as you're here, you're with me, sis. I feel the same. We press our bodies together to try to retain heat. It's cold now, much worse than the searing heat of midday, but we just smile at each other and keep pressing on. There's another camp on the other side of the desert, a new camp. If we can just get there, I can finally fix some Devil's leg. Yeah, I wonder if there's anywhere on this planet that will take us. Hey, what's wrong? It's nothing. Don't worry about it. 
I do what I can to suppress the anxiety in my chest and keep walking. The rain grows worse. It lashes out at us without pause. This is our punishment. Reach out and... Uh, touch Devil's cheek. Support Devil's body. As long as we have bodies to support one another, as long as I have someone with whom to share my fate, then I will press on no matter what happens to me. Because I won't ever stop protecting her. I won't. No one stops. For that is the fate we twin androids have been assigned. Huh. I wonder why it gave me choices there. It, was, it seemed kind of like out of... <laughs> I don't know, just out of place a bit. I don't, I don't think it really mattered, though. Maybe just to make, make you feel a little bit more immersed. Uh, the failure to manage the area resulted in the collapse of the Gestalt system, which led to the decimation of the human race. Due to the discovery of its instability, the twin system was removed from future Android production designs. Following the incident, the Devil and Pueblo models were not dismantled. However, in order to prevent further unexpected behavior, they went, underwent a memory wipe. Furthermore, they were reprogrammed to generate constant feelings of guilt. Oh, I see. Sure, the penguin, penguin's your little Buddha belly. Yeah. I'm Bernie Buddha. I'm Bernie Buddha. Nee, 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 nee. <laughs> mm -mm. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye, penguins. Yes, I know. Yes. <laughs> okay. Bye bye.